Hey golfers, Brett Sherrock here. And today, we're at the beautiful 16th hole at a Cowboys Golf Club. Today, we're gonna to talk about better wedge play. I see a lot of golfers struggle with their wedges, mainly because they swing up through the golf ball instead of down and covering it. So I wanna show you a quick, easy tip that I think about in my swing that will help you with your wedges. So when I'm taking my setup to do my practice swings, what I'm thinking about is getting my trail palm to cover the golf ball so that I swing down and hit the golf ball first. So palm down through the ball. Check out this lesson that I did with one of my students and you'll see how we got him to cover the golf ball with his palm down and improve his wedges. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Now I was looking at some of the uh, tour averages on dynamic loft with the 58 and 56 degrees wedges. Uh, dynamic loft is the effective loft. What was the loft of the club when you struck the golf ball, okay? And averages you know anywhere from 40 to 45 with a uh, you know 56 to 58 degrees wedges so like this one here dynamic loft was 42. Oh, that's good, or... yeah i mean you think the, the club you're hitting is 58 degrees and you when you struck the golf ball it's 42 degrees okay. so you're de lofting it which is what you want to do right. um, and your attack angle is six degrees down Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, ideal range needs to be five to eight down with the okay. wedge. So that's right in there. Mm -hmm. you know, so as you're coming into the golf ball here, you can see how it, it moves it back down to the plane, starts to shallow out a little bit. Uh, See how it's kind of moving from the inside here. So, what I'd like to work on just a little bit is let's see, you know, because I would like to see if you could, you know, really knock it down where it's more of a flat trajectory. One of the ones that's like a two hop and stop type shot. Yeah, just one that would really pierce through the wind. Okay. Um, I like playing there. Yeah, so that, see if we can get more of a, a you know, zero path or, or less in to out path. Okay. But to do that, again, we're gonna have to move the ball just a little bit more forward in the stance, okay. okay? So what I want you to do is we'll start with it a little more forward. And let's, I want you to make a one-handed swing here. So let's take the left hand off for a second. So choke down all the way here and then make sure that this corner of your hand stays on top. So what I want you to do is you're gonna go back here like this and then down into the ground and then up to the finish here, okay? What I want you to feel is that that right palm is staying facing the ground as you come into the golf ball, it's facing the ground. But then as you go to the target, that palm is facing the target in the finish, okay? Forty-three carry, but but you look. You went to forty degrees on dynamic loft there. Yeah, I want to see if we can get some of these at maybe thirty-seven to thirty-eight. Yeah, you're 34 degrees dynamic loft on that one. Okay. 
That's good, man. That's different there, Jake. The ball. I like it because you can basically your carry number is your number. So yeah. You can do that. Exactly. So it makes it easier to judge your distances. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go into some of the practice swings we started with here. Just trying to do a one-handed kind of cover swing where we go back and then trying to feel that that right palm is coming down, facing the, the ball here. And you can see how it stays on plane here and goes through the golf ball there. It looks pretty good. This is the first swing that you made at 30 yards. Yeah, I hit this a little long, but. Yeah, but look how you're more on plane here, covering the ball. Yeah. That looks a lot better. And our dynamic loft there was 40. We kept going down, which is good. This was our 45 carry, your little. No, you were going to the green noodle there. That was that one. Um, you know, I like that you have that, you know, drop to the inside a little bit. But now, as you are trying to cover it, the face stays with the right. with the body, and the leading edge is pretty parallel to your spine here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you know it, that leading edge stays parallel through the ball. You're just rotating on your spine axis, right. and there's no variance to the to the swing. I mean, as far as direction, you know, it's mm -hmm. going to be very accurate in terms of direction. Um, let's see, this was our 76 carry. Is this the most recent one? Mm -hmm. uh, this is the last one here. 36 dynamic loft. 40 or 5200 RPMs. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to compare that to one of our original ones that carried 75. Okay, so look, oh. we're up, you know, 500 RPMs here, mm -hmm. uh, down about seven degrees on dynamic loft here um, and then down nine degrees on launch angle right 28 launch here 37 launch here um, and they carry basically the same distance and I was swinging that 67 with the 73 mm -hmm. and I'm getting more spin too yeah so it's more efficient mm -hmm. overall I don't have to swing as hard to get really similar results exactly so is that, which one's the left and which one's right? This uh, on the right is before, the one on the left is after. Love that right there. Mm -hmm. it got underneath it. Yep. like this finish more for our wedges as well uh -huh. now to me you can launch it back up by opening the face a little bit and maintaining that same steep you know cover shot feel right. uh, because I don't want you to think well I'm gonna I want if I want to launch one up I need to get under plane or anything like that mm -hmm. you just need to change the face of the dress right. a little bit okay